morning, children. Today, we're going to have a very fun lesson that you will surely enjoy. And the title of our lesson for today is Visualizing and Reading Numbers from 0 to 100. So to start, let's look at the picture first. Now what do you see? Good, it's a room. And what have you noticed? Yes, the room is nice, clean, and neat. You know, because this is Lisa's room. She always makes sure that it is clean and organized because Lisa believes that when she keeps herself clean and her things organized, those are some of the good ways to make sure that she is healthy and strong. Now. One day, after arranging and counting the things in her room, she found out that she did not have her ribbon. Hmm. Where could she possibly put her ribbon? Hmm. So, to find out the things that she had in her room, she made a list of the things inside her room this way. So, these are the things in her room. And these are the number of items that she had. So, to have an idea on the number of things to be found in her room, let us visualize each of the items she listed. So, for the ribbon, there is zero or zero ribbon in her room. When it is zero, it means nothing or no ribbon in her room. So, kids, this is the numerical symbol for zero, and this is the spelling of zero. And again, this is the numerical symbol for zero. Next, for the towel, there is one or one towel in her room. This is the spelling of one, and this is the numerical symbol for one. So this is one as a numerical symbol, and this is her towel. Next, for shoes. There are two or two pairs of shoes in her room. So this is the spelling of two, and this is the numerical symbol for two. And these are the two pairs of shoes. This is the one pair and another pair. Next, for the jackets. There are three or three jackets in her room. This is the spelling of three. And this is the numerical symbol for three. And these are the jackets. One, two, three. Next, for pencils, there are four or four pencils in the room. So this is the spelling of four. This is the numerical symbol for four. And these are the four pencils. One, two, three, four. Next, for the hair clips. There are five or five hair clips in the room. So this is the spelling for five. This is the numerical symbol for five. And these are the five hair clips. One, two, three, four, and five. The five hair clips. Next, the headbands. There are six or six headbands in the room. So this is the spelling of six, and this is the numerical symbol for six, and these are the six headbands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, for the t-shirts. There are seven or seven t-shirts in the room. So this is the spelling of seven. And this is the numerical symbol for seven. And these are the seven t-shirts. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Next, the skirts. There are eight or eight skirts in the room. This is the spelling of eight. This is the numerical symbol for eight. And these are the eight skirts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, for the notebooks. There are nine or nine notebooks in the room. This is the spelling for nine. And this is the numerical symbol for nine. And these are the nine notebooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine notebooks. And then, of course, handkerchiefs. There are ten or ten handkerchiefs in the room. This is the spelling of ten. And this is the numerical symbol for ten. And these are the ten handkerchiefs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, there are other ways to count, especially if the number is already more than ten. We may use these blocks to count numbers that are more than ten. Now, we have these blocks. This group of blocks is counted as 10. So we may call this as a long. So one long is equals to 10 blocks. And this one is what we call a unit. This block is called a unit and counted as one. So this is a unit, which is only one block. And this is a long, which is counted as 10. So let's have some example. So one, one long or ten blocks plus another ten is equals to twenty. And then we add another four units. So we have here twenty plus four equals twenty-four. And the answer is Yes, 24. We just added the 10 blocks, another 10 blocks, and then 4 units, it's 24. Next, another example, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus another 10 equals 40. And now, we add five units so it's 40 plus 5 equals 45 40 and 5 is 45 next now this is quite too many but actually they are just 10 longs that when you add together or put together we will have a hundred or 100 so the 10 longs is equals to 100 blocks. Now remember that when we count, we can use objects like toys, things around us, and even blocks. And we may also use blocks to count numbers that are more than 10, just like what we did. So. Let's have some brain exercise. Now, let us count the objects and choose the right number. So for one, we have here apples. How many are they? Is it five, six, or seven? You may pause to answer. Good. The answer is we have five apples. Next, for number two. We have here marbles. How many are they? Seven, eight, or nine? And the answer is very good. Seven marbles. 
Next, we have here, hmm, two longs and three units. How many are they? 21, 22, or 23? Let's answer. It is 23. Very good. And of course, the last, we have here three longs plus six units. Is it 36, 37, or 38? What's the answer? Very good. It's 36. That's nice. So let's practice more in our genome.